Today we are going to see the experimental demo on determining the normal consistency of cement. The apparatus required for determining the normal consistency of cement are as follows. First is the VCAT apparatus, then the VCAT mold and then the plunger with uh, 10 mm diameter, then uh, travel for mixing, then uh, the measuring jar with uh, quantity of uh, 500 ml and uh, 10 ml and finally the sample for uh, testing. The readings in the VCAT apparatus starts with 0 till 40 mm which has 0 at the bottom and 40 at the top. For uh, the testing we should take uh, 400 grams of the sample, 400 grams has been uh, taken. We are starting the trial with 25% uh, consistency. So the 25% value will be uh, total quantity of sample taken that is 400 grams into 25% which will be 100 uh, ml of water. The sample should be mixed and uh, placed within uh, 3 to 5 minutes of uh, adding uh, water. We should not take more than that since uh, setting will be there. For mixing the sample and uh, water we should take a uh, non-porous and non-absorbent uh, bond or tray so that the water is not absorbed by the uh, mixing pan or uh, mixing tray. You can see that uh, the sample is mixed with water and uh, uh, no quantity of water has been uh, retained by the mixing bond. After uh, mixing the sample and uh, water thoroughly, we should uh, Fill the sample in the VCAT mold. Sample should be placed uh, till top of the mold and then it should be uh, leveled off. plunger should be attached to the VCAT apparatus and then the sample should be placed now the sample should be placed in the VCAT apparatus without the bottom tray so that the only the mold should be placed in the VCAT apparatus now we are uh, dropping the plunger uh, from the top. Make sure you are uh, dropping the plunger from 40 mm uh, reading. Now you can see the plunger is still there at the top of the sample. The reading should be noted down. Now we can see that the reading is uh, 35 mm from the bottom. You can also note it from the top. Uh, if we say the same reading, it is 5 mm from the top. Now the same sample should be uh, uh, taken for the next trial also. Now we are adding uh, another 1% uh, water uh, to the sample. Now it is a cumulative consistency of 26%. Uh, we should add it and mix it thoroughly. The trial should be uh, repeated till we get the required consistency.
now a cumulative 26 percentage consistency has been uh, tested now we can uh, drop the plunger from the top you can see that uh, the reading has been uh, now uh, coming down you can note that the reading is now 33 mm from the bottom or 7 mm from the top the trial should be repeated till the value comes 5 to 7 mm from the bottom or 33 to 35 mm from the top so now uh, cumulative 27 percentage uh, consistency has been uh, done and uh, before every trial you should clean the plunger so that uh, none of the cement particles or the sample particles are uh, sticking there so now we can uh, check the reading for 27 percentage consistency You can see that the reading now is uh, 29 mm from the bottom or 11 mm from the top. Now we should go for the next trial. Now a cumulative 29 percentage uh, consistency has been uh, tested now. Now we can uh, test the sample. After uh, cumulative 29 percentage consistency, the reading is now at uh, 15 mm from the bottom and 25 mm from the top. Now after uh, cumulative 31 percentage uh, consistency has been taken, now we can see the reading. You can see that uh, the reading is now uh, 4 mm. So the 4 mm is now uh, from the bottom. If we see it from the top, it is 36 mm. Now uh, this is the uh, final uh, value, which that is the 31 percentage can be taken as the consistency of the cement sample that is taken. And love is all we'll ever trust Yeah, no, I don't